Hello friends, it is that time again with that Ericsson and it's been a while since I made a Crowfall video, but this is beta time and the hype is getting real. So I'm seeing a lot of new players with a lot of questions. So I kind of wanted to make this top 10 tips or things I wish I knew uh, type of countdown video in no particular order. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the tips. All right, so one of the things I see often asked is, oh, how do I leave group? Um, what you should do is come right down here to the question mark that's inside of your chat box. Uh, clicking this will show you a full command list and there's a lot of important commands here and these commands tend to be what I'm seeing being asked most often in the chat. So for example, leave group uh, and you can see all the actions and commands here which are super helpful and this should ha help you out greatly. Let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip I have has to do with the account vault. So when you're playing in the in any of the uh, campaigns, either whether it be God's Reach or the infestation, uh, infestation or campaign, you have a vault where all of your account items uh, are. And you can store these items. Um, and you can tr transfer these items to other available banks that you have. I don't have any right here, but once you're in a campaign, you have an export amount. And that's how many items you can bring from your account vault over to a different world. So how can you see that? If you go to campaign, for example, and click browse campaigns, you'll see this little chest here and it'll say embargo active, rules are in place. So the, the default import tokens here are 50. So you would only be able to bring over 50 items from your account vault into this particular campaign. So that's very important uh, when you're you know, getting ready in God's reach to bring over only the things that you really need when you move over to a campaign. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's move on to the next tip. All right, so another tip that we have are just skills in general. And I think everyone here knows, I mean, maybe you don't, you really wanna get your skills trained and starting right away. You have three tracks that you can choose from, combat, crafting, and exploration. And you would wanna choose two of these three to start with. And uh, you're getting the pips, uh, one every 10 seconds, as you can see here. Uh, and to, to choose it or change it, you would just click browse. Let's say I wanna switch to crafting. I would click crafting and then select. And then make sure that these are rolling as soon as you start. That's important. You wanna not miss out on any time of your passives ticking up. So do that right away. And another thing when it comes to spending points, uh, you don't need to get five points to unlock the next dots. You uh, typically only need four. Uh, and then you can see that with these little dotted lines here, one, two, three, and this little half here, four. That represents how many pips it takes to unlock the next node. So you can see here I have four in combat basic training, so it's letting me move into attack power. Uh, so that's just you know a quick and uh, dirty tip for your skill tree and something to keep in mind. Let's move on to the next tip. All right, further on the campaigns and just you know any of the worlds in general, uh, let's understand that you can select a few different types of places to play. If you go back to the home, you have God's Reach, uh, which is where you'll do most of your leveling. If you're a new player, you're gonna wanna start here because uh, you can get to one to 30 by just kind of doing the new player experience and grinding out the last uh, half of that. Uh, what you wanna t keep in mind is that you can have three different uh, styles. So you have God's Reach, you have the Infected, which is a level 15 minimum, and PVP is enabled, but you do not get full looted. So if you die when you're carrying a bunch of stuff, you do not lose all that items, which is good for new players that want to PVP, but maybe don't want to risk losing whatever it is they're carrying. Uh, another thing you can do on any of these, whether it's God Reacher campaign, is check the map. And when you check the map, you'll get the overview. And the overview will give you some good information. So for example, here you can see the three factions in this in this particular uh, infected campaign, mini campaign. You have Sun, Moon, and, uh, and Earth. And the three, uh, the four regions that are here, and you can see a little pie chart kind of going around the outside of the of the uh, icons of the areas of the maps. Who's got most control? And you can take a look at who's controlling the most towers, forts, and uh, and strongholds. And this is good information uh, for you with maybe choosing where you want to go, and also the leaderboard, where you can see more detailed information, siege schedule and a lot of other things. This is great information and it's something that, you know, people don't normally check before they just hop right in. So let's go ahead and keep moving on to the next tip. 
All right, guys, so the next tip that I have is uh, revolving around one of the quests, and it comes up often. Uh, people ask, how do I drag things onto my skill bar? Uh, you have three alternate slots where you can put some items, and people often have this particular question, and I see it come up in chat a lot. Uh, so what you want to do is hit K, um, and this is how you can drag items out like let's say for example the one quest you have to drag bandages out to your bar uh, you hit k and then you can go ahead and do that so that is that uh, particular issue that i see come up often and i think the reason is that a lot of people hit i to open their inventory and as you can see that does not bring up the actual um it doesn't bring up the actual skill bar where you can drag things over and it's not really clear in the quest description that that's what you have to do. So hit K to get your spell book and get your um, skill bars up so that you can drag stuff onto your alternate bars. Uh, keep that in mind. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next tip. All right, guys, the next tip has to do with your class talent tree. So you know you have your stat points. Um, I won't get into how you should put those in. Typically, most people will put all of their points into uh, their main stat. Um, but that's up to you. That's not what I'm here to talk about. What I want to mention is the talent tree. Well, first, let me talk about disciplines. So you have your disciplines here, and the two major disciplines that you get are a big deal, and they have a lot of uh, utility, and they make a, a big deal of how you will build your class out. Uh, with that in mind, you really should pay attention to your uh, skill tree, your talent tree, I should say, because l let me explain. Uh, you have 55 points that you'll be able to to put into this tree uh, and choose your your promotion class, for example, which usually is this last um, last uh, branch of the tree here. But one thing to note is that you have these major discipline unlocks, okay, and mostly everything else in this tree will cost you one point to rank up but unlocking major disciplines is five points so take that into into consideration almost everybody is going to want to unlock both major disciplines which which would entail you saving at least 10 of those 55 points to get these two suckers unlocked because it's a major major boost um, to how you customize your class so do not forget that all right let's go ahead and move on to the next tip all right, guys, so the uh, obviously the biggest tip uh, that's not really a tip is make sure you do your new player experience. Now there is a uh, kind of familiar quest chain where you'll step through some instructions from Giuseppe here and do some quests. Uh, hitting Y will progress through that. You know, I'm not going to go through this specifically, but I just wanted to show you the uh, system. So you'll, you know, step through these quests and you'll also start to see the familiar, if you're familiar with MMOs, uh, this type of question mark over 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 an NPC's head that you can come up to and talk and continue to follow the quest um, the quest steps and then you'll notice on top there is a compass which shows you which direction you should be heading towards that uh, particular quest item so as as you can see here I'm heading towards that question mark all right and once you get there you know you'll you'll just follow these steps it's pretty self-explanatory I'm not going to to go deep too deep into that if you need to find your uh your your quest you're on you can either hit i k any of the inventory opening items escape as well and click over here the quest log and you can review it and see where you're lost i see a lot of people get lost on a few quests one of them is the pack pig quest where you're supposed to lead a pack pig um, to a destination you're provided with a whistle ability uh, and keep that on your bar. You can go to K and bring out the whistle, um, caravan whistle icon, and bring it out to your bar. Just hit F2. In my case, I have it on Num2 uh, to blow the whistle, and the pigs will just kind of teleport right behind you. So that's a, a good tip for that quest because I see that one being a blocker. Um, and you know, if you have any troubles with the specific quest, I don't want to go into those, but that's the one I see mentioned a lot. So I just wanted to give that little tip. Uh, on the new player experience, just how to get around with the compass and what you should be looking for when it comes to uh, NPCs. So yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the next tip.
All right, another uh, important tip is do not forget your food meter. Um, you know, it's not something common. Not a lot of MMOs have a food or hunger system, but it is in place in Crowfall. Uh, as you can see under my, uh, my, my unit frame up there with my name, there's a food meter. Uh, and you want to make sure that you keep that pretty topped off because you will not regenerate your resources if you're under a certain amount. And you'll notice that if I was too low, there'd be a debuff on the, on the top right hand corner where buffs and debuffs are stored. So let me just put on a buff so you can see what I'm talking about. So under that vengeful aura, there would be like a red debuff saying that you're hungry. Um, make sure you have food on you at all times, either apples, which you can get from trees, or you can get some, you get some food rewards for the new player experience. And you could also always craft food uh, from your general tree. Uh, for example, cooking basics, you can do some of these things. When you're by a fire, you have the option to make some uh, some meat, cook uh, cook meat. And uh, I also will leave in a, a description below. This is bad. All right, let's start over about the food. <clears throat> All right, another final, uh, another, start over again. <clears throat> All right, another tip is around food, okay? This is not something common to most MMOs, so a lot of players are not used to having to keep their player fed and uh, and satiated, but you will see here in the top left is my uh, unit frame with a food meter underneath, and you'll see I'm missing four little meat ticker things there, or chicken tickers as they like to call it, and uh, you don't want to let that drop too low. If it drops too low, you'll notice that you'll have a hungry debuff in the top right corner. So there's the buffs up there. I have a Vengeful Aura on to show you. If I was hungry, it would show up underneath that uh, in red saying hungry. So, you know, make sure you eat uh, apples, which you can find from trees, which will fill up your chicken ticker. You can also cook food uh, out in the by campfires. You can also get some food from uh, new player experience rewards and also just cooking in general. I will leave that link in the description for the uh, crafting com combinations and there's a great uh, cooking tab there that has all the, the types of things you can make with the resources that are available in the game. All right, let's go ahead and move on to one other tip. All right, the final tip, let's talk about some great resources that are out there. Um, things that I'll link in the description of the video. So go ahead and check those out. For example, the official Crowfall website, the official Crowfall Discord. And here are a couple of really good uh, utilities that I use. Uh, the Malachi project, malachi.org, has some great information for disciplines and power. A lot of the other stuff is, is still being added. Um, since this is beta, a lot of things change. But it's a good place to come and read about the powers and disciplines that are available in the game, and what types of things you get uh, with those particular uh, with those particular selections. So this is a great resource um, for information when it comes to Crowfall um, crafting, city building. That stuff's not online yet, but the disciplines and powers is here, and I would highly recommend for people that want to you know take a look at what powers exist in the game. This is a great place to go. Uh, another resource that I will also link is a spreadsheet that most people use. Uh, it's from Winterblades, which is one of the uh, top guilds in Crowfall. Not my guild, but they are a great bunch of guys. They have great resources and um, a lot of information. And this crafting sheet should have just about everything you need um, for information when it comes to crafting. Uh, thing, little things that people don't know. So for example, in blacksmithing, if you combine, uh, you have to often combine ore into bars. And when you make the bars, you need three particular ores. And depending on how you combine those ores, you will get different effects. So for example, iron, iron, and iron will give you an attack power and crit damage um, stat on that piece of ore, which lets you really customize how you're going to make your pieces of gear. And you know that, that holds true for other things, such as leatherworking. As you can see here, combining certain particular types of hide will give you different effects. Uh, there's also information about cooking and all the items that you can that you can combine for that. Um, rune crafting, a lot of great information here, guys. Use this resource. It is public. It's not something like that's a secret. Everyone's got it. And thank the Winter Blades if you see them. Either thank them by joining their guild or maybe killing them out in the campaign if you're not on their faction. But it's a definite good resource and something I highly suggest.
Okay, friends, and that is it for the top 10 tips and things I wish I knew when I was starting out uh, that I think beginners might need. Um, if you're interested in Crowfall, you know, you can sign up for the beta here on crowfall.com. Uh, what I would suggest is, you know, you can you can do that right away. You might get an invite or you can actually pledge and and purchase the game already. Uh, you can use my referral code, which I will leave in the description of the video below. Uh, once you're there, you know, you can buy any of the pledge packages uh, and everything. It's a buy once, play forever uh, system. It's a buy to play game. It's not a pay to win, uh, pay to win game. There might be a VIP system somewhere in the future, which we have yet. Uh, you know, there was some things that happened, but that that's changed. So there's no details on that yet. We'll probably get that closer to launch. But yeah, um, make sure you come over and check out the game if you're interested. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the uh, comments below. I always answer uh, questions from my, my viewers. And thank you all for stopping by. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. I will be streaming on my Twitch channel. I, st I stream a few days a week. Uh, I'm, I'm picking that up as beta has came out, so I'm a lot more active now. So be sure to follow my Twitch channel. I also have a lot of uh, other Crowfall streamers that I host and that I suggest that you guys take a look at. But yeah, that is it, guys. And until next time, this has been Matt Erickson. Take care, friends.